got the bolts out of the valve bridge. So that's out of the way. There's a special tool that is supposed to hook under here that actually uh, you clip in underneath the sides of the unit injector and then has an adapter with a small little shaft and a slide hammer. And then that is a special tool that if you're doing this all the time, then yeah, you're gonna want that tool. If you don't have that tool, then what we can do is use a little bit of marine engineering. Okay, and that is what we wanna do is take a couple of pieces of wood, and put them on the sides, maybe two. And I'll put another one over here. I just chopped these up real quick. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a couple of ladies' feet pry bars and slip them under there as I've used in the past. So, one pry bar goes on one side, and what's nice is they'll fit underneath there, and I can get the other pry bar under the other side, and then I'm just going to equally pull on these a little bit and get that unit injector to pop out of there. I've got to get the wood back in place on this side because that's going to fall out. All right, so this is not the official way to do it, but it works just fine. And I've done this many times where I'm in a bind to get it apart. And just a little bit of work to get it out. Got to get it under the injector. And you might need a little bit more wood another piece, but usually, yep, there we go, got it loose. So now, if I had not drained down the fuel rail in the cylinder head, right about now I'd hear gurgle, 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 and that would be the fuel pouring down that bore. So now what I can do is just work on that. Come on. Doesn't want to come out. Is perfect. Okay, valve bridges out. Here's your unit injector. All right, pretty expensive little units. Now, no pun intended, um, because I have an open cylinder right here, I got problems where debris can start falling down there. That's not a good idea. So they have these special tools which are designed. To make life easy so I'm just gonna leave this in there for a second and then I'll come in with a special tool so here's the bolt that holds the rocker bridge in okay and I can just leave that off to the side for right now but I'm gonna take that bolt and I can thread it what's really nice about this is I thread it into the top of this and the inside is a plug and when I pull that out, it has O-rings that are just like the unit injector. So a very cool special tool. I'm gonna to take the unit injector out, and if I can put that right back in there, all right, and that fills the hole. And the other cool part about the tool is that fits the unit injector, so now it's airtight with that O-ring. You're not gonna have any problems with it. And it comes as a set of six that part number's in the book, 9998249. This would be definitely a special tool that I would want for um, if I had a fleet of these engines and trucks or in um, the marine world that I'm servicing them. I definitely want a set of these because even if I pull one out while it's being moved around, I want to make sure I keep it as clean as possible to send it out. So that's how you pull the injector out and how you can put it back in. The special tool that goes on there is pretty expensive, so use a little bit of ingenuity and you can get it out that way. Okay, we want to put the rocker shaft back on. We've got the injectors all in there, all torqued together. Uh, all of my valve bridges. One more final 
check. Make sure they're numbered and in the right place. I number them all one from the front to the back sequential. And now I'm ready to pull the rocker shaft back. Now I have to line the rocker shaft up. And you want to make sure, remember, that the threaded side of the two lifting brackets goes up, not down, because it does not fit if you put it on upside down. So that's very important. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to pull this over gently, okay, to get it close and even into one side, and then let it come down. Now once it's close, it'll flop around a little bit. I can go from one end to the other and pick it up a little bit to try to get it into position where it belongs. This one's That one's pretty close. It'd be best to use the tool for that to pick it up but once you get it pretty close. Usually you can just line it up. There we go. Our shaft will rotate a little bit, so you may have to get a bolt in there to straighten it out to get the line up. So I now can put the rest of the bolts back in. Again, when you're going to put these in, follow the procedures in the book that will say to lubricate the threads and usually lubricate underneath the head of the bolt. Torque sequence again from the center and follow the procedures in the book, which would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then start all over. And again, just so you loosen it up, eighth, 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 just equally pull it down so you don't uh, have any problems with uh, bending it. So always keep an eye on it, make sure it's seating evenly. You know, keep an eye on your spacing as you're tightening it down so you aren't tightening one side more than the other. So I'll get that bolted down next.